okay guys so let's install django now so this is how we install django pip install uh, django and when you hit enter like this then it will install django latest version but uh, uh, i want to install django 3.1 version okay so when you say equal equal then the version of the django you want to install then it will create the specific version of uh, django okay so uh, uh, you guys also just uh, 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 go with the 3.1 okay so let me just uh, hit enter so this will take a little bit of time uh, depending on your internet speed but uh, not more than uh, one or two minutes okay so let's wait for that all right so now the django is installed so now uh, if you want to see what is installed with the django then just say pip freeze now you can see all the uh, you know this uh, django 3.1 is installed and uh, uh, asgiref also installed and P pytz sql pass and all those things are the just the django dependencies it will just come with the django installation okay so now you can see uh, only this much packages installed inside the virtual environment so now you can imagine how useful this virtual environment is okay so if we if we did not create virtual environment then these packages would have gone to the global scope of the uh, you know uh, uh, computer then uh, it would be uh, very difficult to notice uh, what is installed for our project okay everything would have been messed up right so that's why so we are in a uh, right place now so now this is the time to create a django project okay so for now we have created django uh, like uh, for now we have created a uh, you know uh, installed django but we did not create any project right so uh, we have uh, access to the django commands now okay so just say django hyphen admin space uh, then start project and then say the project name okay so whatever uh, you wish you want uh, like you can give but uh, for me it is a uh, uh, great card okay and let me just uh, uh, give give a space and hit uh, uh, a dot okay so what this dot will do is it will create a project inside the uh, current directory okay so if you don't give the dot then it will create a multiple folder then the project okay like it will be a little bit of uh, you know confusing so that's why i like to uh, add uh, one dot here so everything will be properly managed okay all right so hit enter now okay so as soon as you hit enter it has created a django project okay just go to this uh, uh, great card folder here and uh, you can see the great card uh, uh, project is created here okay so this is the uh, django files and the manage.py file okay so now we are uh, good to run the django you know basic command that is a run server okay so uh, let us uh, go to the git bash here and say python manage.py run server all right so go to this 127.1 dot one dot uh, like uh, 0 dot 0 dot 1 8000 this is the port number and hit enter all right so the installation worked successfully okay so in the next lecture we will uh, remove this page okay we don't want this page instead we need to run our uh, you know a custom page all right custom home page okay so i'll see you next